Hey everybody, it's Jeremiah here, and today I'm going to be discussing a series I have not talked about in four whole years. Now, for those that do not know, Gex the Gecko is one of my favorite video game franchises ever. Uh, beyond Crash Bandicoot and Beyond Bloody Roar, I do like Gex. I play the games on streams from time to time and everything like that. I rapped over in Dragnet from Gex 2 on my last album, which is called Observant Channel. Uh, I have my Gex shirt on. And I have videos on Gex on my channel. I've unboxed the first game and I've just discussed the series overall. You know, I talked about its 20th anniversary and everything like that. I've, I've done a fair amount of videos on Gex, not to the same altitude or magnitude of Crash Bandicoot or Bloody Roar, but I do like Gex a lot as a character and as a series. Um, Dana Gold, his voice actor, who is also a comedian, which is fitting for Gex, is also still alive, so he could definitely record new lines for the character. Uh, but the point, I'm, the, the reason why I'm mentioning that is because um, the series' trademark uh, was renewed, or rather, a new Gex trademark was filed recently, a few days ago, on December 15th, by Square Enix Limited in the UK. The link to that will be in the description. Um, so I just wanted to quickly discuss uh, about one of my favorite series and you know how I think they could optimally or properly bring back the series because I feel like Gex is a very unique case when it comes to remaking because when you play the Gex games he's always gonna make jokes and references to things that were relevant back in the 90s now if he did that again today that wouldn't really fly so I feel like the best approach for a remake in particular would be to give Dana Gold new lines to record or have Dana Gold you know write new lines for the character um, to record for the remake so that it you know it, it fits for a newer generation especially when you have the, a lot of the things going on within today's generation and you know the internet basically being free material to use for jokes and references and stuff like that um, so I feel like that would be the best approach to do that just give Dana Gold to record new lines for the remake um, and the same could be applied for a direct sequel you know Gex 4 um, so you know just do that um, the last appearance that Gex made was in Mad Dash Racing on the Xbox which is also developed by Crystal Dynamics to be fair um, but, you know, that was the last time we ever saw him. His last actual, uh, entry, his last game in the series was released in 1999, which was Gex 3 Deep Cover Gecko in March of 1999. It's been a while since Gex has been relevant, so it's really cool to see that his name is, you know, somewhat relevant and, you know, resurfacing to some degree. Um, I really like this character. Um, for those that don't know about the character, um, he's not just a jokester, he doesn't just talk a lot. Um, his father actually died, so he's, he's depressed and he watches a lot of TV, but, you know, when you mix in, uh, media, you know, TV and everything, you get an interest in, like, plot or whatever, just play the games or look up the wikis for the games, there's fans that have made stuff for Gex, I'm pretty sure there's a Discord for Gex as well, um, there's definitely fans of Gex out there, uh, they just probably won't say anything until he comes back, which... I just really hope that it does happen, and I also am aware that just because a company renews a trademark or files a new trademark for said franchise slash series doesn't necessarily mean that something's going to happen. However, when you do look at the details of the trademark, it is registered under Class 9, which is for consoles and, you know, downloadable content, all that stuff. It's for video game consoles. It's not for anything else. It's registered under Class 9, just like the Bloody Roar trademark was when I was discussing that, when that was relevant at the time. It's definitely possible. It's not impossible, especially when you consider what's happening now. Gex coming back is not impossible. If Bubsy could do it, then Gex can definitely come back. Gex should definitely come back, and I hope he does. Um, another approach that I didn't even mention was that they could also port the games to modern consoles in Steam. If they don't want to have Dana Gold record new lines for the character for a remake or for Gex 4, port the games to Steam. Port the trilogy to Steam and modern consoles. I think that would be a great way to reintroduce people into Gex. Though they might not get what he's referencing or joking about, uh, it, it would still be nice in my opinion. But yeah, I just wanted to do this quick video talking about Gex because this is one of my favorite platformers ever. Um, hope you guys are having a good day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You all take care, and I'll see you guys in the next upload whenever, if ever. Peace. Hello? Hi. Who is this? You watching TV? Maybe. Who is this? What kind? Well, it's big. 27 inch? Yeah. Picture in picture? I guess so. Swivel base? How do you know? Under a white ceramic duck wearing a yellow raincoat? Where are you? Open the drapes.
One TV obsessed gecko. Revolutionary 3D graphics. Free roaming gameplay. It's Gex and the Gecko. Yeah, it's tail time.